G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. In this video today, we're going to make a bed. We're going to make a medieval style rope bed. These things actually date back into the Roman period and are still in use today in parts of America, Canada and uh, the former Soviet Union. You'll see a lot of reenactors use these things and I thought today, why not give it a go? Alrighty, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the uh, the bed posts, the re uh, the ones at the foot of the bed, the ones at the head of the bed will be different. So we'll catch up with those in a minute. But um, let's take a look at these two. Uh, we're going to cut out these two squares here to allow the sides of the bed to lock into, and we're going to cut out this one for the foot of the bed. And we'll then do some detailing around this top section uh, as we go. The quickest way to do that is going to be just to use a drill and then we'll clean it out with a hammer and chisel. We're just cleaning out the uh, the joints at this stage. See how that all goes. Not quite as well cut as I hoped.
So once you've done your front to backs, you then need to weave over and under the existing rope that you've done. Now I'm not tight, tightening mine crazy tight because um, no one's sleeping on this anytime soon. So, but it's best if, if two people can do this together and that way you can get it reasonably okay. I'm going to show you another video probably in a, in a couple of months time where we talk about tightening uh, some of these ropes up but for the moment this is really going to be more than adequate. Uh, still a little bit left to do on the bed but, um, but this has come out as a really good project. Alrighty guys, um, all finished, all done. Could not be happy with this. This has come out simply amazing. A couple of points to note. The posts at the bottom of the bed do not require pegs because they're held in place through tension. The post at the top of the bed possibly could benefit from pegs. I don't think it's necessary though. I am really happy with this. I uh, cannot wait to get it tried out. Uh, this is, um, this is pretty amazing. Alrighty, I uh, really, really, really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really hope you got something out of it. Um, this has taken me quite a bit longer than I planned. I, I didn't work off any existing plans. This is all my own thing. I just made it up as I went. As I do with almost all of my projects. I, I don't work off other people's patterns. I, I just, it's just not how I operate. Uh, I like to create things myself and I like to be responsible for my own work. Alrighty, so, uh, wow, <laughs> I'm just looking at this and admiring it, it is, it is really cool. Alright, I really hope you got, uh, got something out of today's video, please like, subscribe and share. I will catch you in my next video.